Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Well, recently I did a tennis themed bar mitzvah and one of the things that we did was we actually made the name cards out of little tennis balls. So while I was working on this, I realized that there's all these different ways that you can cut a tennis ball because tennis balls have this amazing ability to hold things. And so I realized that not only could you hold like a picture or a table place card, which is what we used it for, for the bar mitzvah, but you could also do things like hold gloves or pens or jewelry, or you could even turn them into car, car key holders. So I thought it would be fun to teach you how to do this. Now, one thing I have to warn you, tennis balls are a little tricky to cut and you have to be very careful when you're using the X-Acto knife because it is possible that you could slip and you don't want to cut yourself. So I would suggest adult supervision for this project just because we don't want anybody to get injured. Okay, for this project, what you're going to need? Bottle caps. You can use bottle caps, you can use milk caps, whatever kind of cap you want to use. A bottle cap is going to make your ball look like it's floating. It's going to be invisible. That's how you see it right here. This is, this is invisible. I mean, you can barely see it. A milk cap is going to give you more of a sturdy base so that you can use it like we've done here for this, for the little um, pen holder. I've used this for the pen holder. It gives it a sturdier base. Now, you can also, if you can find them, you can use suction cups. Those are great because then you can actually suction cup it to like the wall or the glass or something like that. And then you can actually hang them on like a, a surface. But I've also come up with a way that you can put them onto a hook. And that's what I'm going to be teaching you today. So for that, we're going to be using some screw eyes. And these are a 1 and 3 16 inch screw eye. I found that that's a, a good size. We're going to be using an awl. This is kind of important. If you don't have it, it's okay, but this is a great tool for making holes. This is an awl. Scissors are also usable. You're definitely going to need a really strong, really good X-Acto knife. So make sure that it has a good sharp blade. The one thing you don't want is a dull blade. Now I'm also going to be using some fun googly eyes. Um, I've got some key rings here and that's just to show you how you would make your your key ring for your your keychain. I've got some scissors and then this is actually this is a a tool that a friend of mine gave me. It's a channel lock and I'm going to be using the channel lock to hold the ball while I cut it. But you could also if you wanted to use a C clamp. The only reason that I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to be using this knife to cut the ball and by by using a channel lock to hold the ball it makes sure that the ball doesn't slip and it also keeps it from rolling and it also keeps my hand as far away from the knife as possible. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but I got a glue gun and that's always important. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to cut your ball. Now there's many different ways that you can cut your ball. But I found that if you cut along this rounded part, you know, and you've got all these different sizes for your rounded part, but I've found that if you cut along that rounded part, it looks just like a mouth. Now here you can see you've got a smiley face. See, pop, 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 pop. It's got a smiley face that can easily grab stuff. Or you can do the sort of frowny face as if you've turned it upside down. So see that? I like this guy because you know, you're just like, Ugh. there we go. You could also make like a little ventriloquist dummy out of something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna put him down like that. So you can do that. Or if you wanna go between you can make a, a picture holder or like a card holder or something like that. And all you're doing in that case is just cutting between at the top of the ball. So I'm actually going to be making mine like a mouth just because I think that's fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my channel locks and I'm just going to hold this tightly in there. Now, wherever I want to make my cut, I want to make sure that that is easy to access. So in this case, I don't want to cut where the, the name is. So I'm going to flip this over. There we go. Set my channel locks so that I can hold it here. Okay. Now holding, I'm going to basically score my tennis ball. So I'm just going to kind of, see how I'm just gently going along the side there. 
So what's that? Three cuts, four cuts. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually release this and flip the ball. And the reason I do that is just so that I'm not anywhere close to cutting myself. And you always want to kind of try to cut away from yourself. And again, you just have to be very patient. And this, as you can see, this is why I said that this is really an adult supervision. But once you get this part done, it's so much fun. You know, I mean, you can have such fun with this. Okay. And this is, again, you can see why it's really important that you have a good, there we go, good, sharp knife. Okay, so now I've got a mouth. There we go. Wop, wop, wop. So when you squeeze it, it opens up because like, la, 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 la. Okay, now to hang it so that I can actually put stuff onto it, I'm going to need to make a little hanger hole right here. So figure that it's going to hang off a hook, right? So it needs to be about right here in between. And this is where I'm going to use my awl. I'm giving you my awl. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take my awl and I'm going to push it in, make a little hole. And that's just a starter hole. You can see that hole right there? So that then I can take my hook and just twirl it in. Now, once you get it started, if your fingers get tired, you can always take your awl, put it inside there and do it like that. Oops, well, I pulled it out but you can twirl it around if your fingers get tired. I always find that it's easy enough to just screw it right on in. But like you could get to that point and then just go. Keep going till you get it nice and snug. There we go. And there you go. Wop, wop, wop. Okay, now you get to add, now you get to have lots of fun. You get to add eyes, you get to get noses, you get to do, like I did over here, I made him into kind of a little punk rocker with a little uh, pipe cleaner on the top. You can really have as much fun as you want to. I'm just going to give him some little eyes. You could even give him bottle eyes if you wanted to, make him kind of look like a little alien or a fish or, really, you can have as much fun as you want to. The sky is the limit as to what you decorate these little guys as. I'm going to put my eyes on like this. I love these mouths. <laughs> I love these turned down mouths. They always look so, are you having a bad day? Yes, I'm having a bad day. Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's cool. For more fun ideas out of recycled materials, come and check us out at sophie-world.com. Could you say that one more time? sophie-world.com. You really are depressed. Mm -hmm.